Hello everyone, this is Nate from the American Chemical Society at YSU. Today we're in one of YSU's laboratories, and I wanted to show you the basics of using this little self-inflating balloon from the American Chemical Society. So it's pretty basic, you'll just want to, uh, don't be too forceful with it, but you'll just want to break the little pouch inside. And I'll just show you how to do it, but I won't spoil the whole inflation. But yeah, you'll see it'll take some force. You should start to hear some sizzling inside. You might want to mix it around a little. You hear it? Yeah, once it's going, just let it sit for a few minutes and it should start to inflate more. So you might be wondering what's going on inside of the self-inflating balloon. Well, if you look at the little slip the ACS provided you, you'll see they mention citric acid and baking soda. Now baking soda, you can find in pretty much any grocery store, it might sound familiar to you if you've been to a science fair, or at least heard of a science fair. Usually, baking soda is used with vinegar in the baking soda and vinegar volcanoes in science fairs. Well, citric acid and vinegar are very similar, actually. And citric acid is commonly found in things like lemons and oranges. So here we have some lemon juice. So I can show you what's happening inside the self-inflating balloon. See, we take some baking soda, add it in. If you do this at home, make sure your parents helping with you, helping you with it, so you're not making too much of a mess. You see, once we add some lemon juice, or citric acid, which is inside the lemon juice, you'll see it starts to react. You'll see it's giving off bubbles, or in other words, a kind of gas. It's giving off CO2. The reason there is such a, an energetic reaction between the lemon juice and the baking soda is because basic substances like baking soda or soap that you might have around your house always react with acidic solutions like lemon juice or vinegar to produce an energetic reaction. In this case, it gives off air or a CO2 type of gas, which we can use to inflate a balloon. So thank you for uh, tuning in with us.